I got a good feeling about today. Yes, yes, yes. It's scary, it's scary. The FLW Eastern Series is taking place at the best no, 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 hunting no, no, grounds no, 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 in the country for smallmouth bass. Definitely not one of those little guys. Can Shin Fukai oh, hold yes. on and catch enough yeah. to vault him back into the yes. ranks of champion once again? Ah. The FLW Eastern Series is one of the most competitive circuits in bass fishing, testing the very best professional bass anglers on some of the premier lakes in America. The springtime leg of the series is over, and with the change of the seasons comes the fall and a visit to what has to be one of the most exciting lakes in America for chasing down smallmouth bass, Lake Champlain. Hi everybody, I'm Jason Harper and welcome to day three of competition as we follow 146 tournament pros in their quest for glory, money, and a shot at the biggest tournament in bass fishing, the Forest Wood Cup. So far in the tournament, the smallmouth fight has been dominant. Anglers like Anthony Gagliardi and Jason Ober both have brought in large bags every single day, but you can't count out the largemouth factor out on this lake and its ability to catapult an angler way up in the standings. Today is decision time for the anglers. They've got to decide whether to fish shallow or fish deep, go for brown or green, but they've got to land their five biggest bass in hopes to fish one final day in a shot at almost $50,000. I'm kind of glad that the smallmouth are kind of dominating things overall as far as the overall fish catch because that just keeps a few more people away from what I want to do. Uh, I'm fishing solely for largemouth. The top three anglers going into day three are all targeting smallmouth, while Dave Wolak and Dion Hibden are hoping to stay in the cut without having to bring in any brown backs. Definitely like my position right now, and I feel real good about today. Um, the weather looks like it's going to be nice. So, yeah, I'm not really going to have any excuses you know, come the end of the day if I don't catch them. Every angler here knows how many bass can be found in Lake Champlain, a long wide ribbon of water that runs over 100 miles between New York and Vermont. The launch is at Dock Street Landing in Plattsburgh, New York, about 25 miles south of the Canadian border. All these spots are so spread out, you can really waste a lot of time real quick when, when you're running around. And so you really just got to pick one of your best areas, slow down, pick a park, and uh, just wait for the bikes to come and just know that there's fish there. bunch of fish under the boat right now so I, I fish seven times here then three times top ten so this is one of my favorite lakes I want to get top five in this, this in this tournament Chevy Team Pro Anthony Gagliardi finished second here back in 2009 and with his reputation as an excellent deep water angler he always attracts a crowd Got a little crowded in here yesterday, and you know, I was still able to catch fish, but I wasn't able to fish it like I wanted to. Um, I really wanted to be able to move around more, you know, and let certain, you know, letting certain parts of this place rest, you know. But I, I really wasn't able to do that. I had to kind of, you know, sit basically in the middle of it just to keep those other guys from coming in here and, and getting right on top of it. Gagliardi's belief in his area is well founded as he connects early with a keeper fish. But if he wants to maintain his lead, he needs to entice a four pounder into the boat. The wind, if you like out here, we've got just enough wind. As you can see, the grass kind of lays with the wind a little bit. And if you try to fight it with your line by pitching sideways to the wind at all, you get just a little bag in your line and it won't let your bait get all the way down on the bottom. And so you kind of got to make sure you kind of fish with the wind with your bait. Because like I say, it's pretty important to make sure your bait gets down through there. Come on, you silly buggers, get going. Fishing up here is so mental. You got to keep yourself mentally knowing that that's the deal. That you're just looking for five bites. The deal is out here, the bottom is, is the most key ingredient on this lake. 
when you get around a good rocky bottom, that just seems to attract them. And that's primarily what most of my waypoints really are, uh, you know, from years gone by. And so that's what you sort of try to key on. You know, and that grass, the grass that grows in that area, um, a lot of times grows a lot cleaner. And, and good clean grass is also very important up here. Now, just a little guy, don't worry about it, just a little guy. Not a large fish for Jason Ober, but perhaps he's into the clean rocky bottom he's been looking for. It ain't much, but it's a start. I got a pretty good one on. There. No, 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 don't you do that. Just ahead, we find out who made the right decisions on day three as the action moves to the stage. Oh yeah, I think that might be all right. FLW Outdoors is brought to you by Castrol, maximum sludge protection for maximum performance. Chevy, every model is backed by a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Lawrence and the HDS High Definition System with Structure Scan add-on options. Ranger, still building legends one at a time. Yamaha, reliability starts here. And by National Guard, always ready, always there. Welcome back to the third stop of the FLW Series Eastern Division presented by the National Guard. After two days of competition out on Lake Champlain, it's cut day and only five anglers will fish on this final day of the tournament. For the largemouth fishermen like Chevy Pro Dion Hibden, the fish are proving tougher to find, while third place Shin Fukai is relying on his electronics to pinpoint the smallmouth. I can see the fish on the grass, but they don't bite. Yeah, they, they move a lot, so I need, I need, I need to move too. I, ha I have a friendly spot for this race. Most of the areas on the flight that I've been fishing are anywhere from, let's say, 10 and a half foot to out to 13 and a half. I mean, it, it drops on off, you know, out past there, but like I said, I hadn't really, I haven't really got to explore too much of it past, you know, this general area right here. My goal today would be if I catch a, you know, if I catch a good bag here, um, that's when I'd like to I'd like to move out from this and kind of see what see what it looks like out on the outer edges and, and fish around just to see if there's some other you know key places here that that you know that might withhold fish also so I'd have you know, have something else to, to look at in case these fish decide to up and move which is you know entirely a possibility. I'm probably not going to get as many chances today as I have been. That's the only problem with losing that one. Gagliardi is going to try to put that big loss and potential game changer out of his mind. While Dion Hibden continues to work over the shallow grass, committed to finding a quality largemouth that will move him up the standings. There. He ain't big. I got it. I got it. See, sometimes you got to be sneaky. That fish may have thought I was already gone. No. Yeah, just had to make him think I was leaving. Okay, got to deploy the buoy one more time. I'll give him another 10 minutes, okay? As the hours pass, anglers race around the lake in hopes of being in the right place at the right time. Mmm, bumpy, bumpy. Get the net. <laughs> no big. Chopeta Zandero. Eh, two and a half. While Shin boats a decent keeper, Gagliardi has defended his turf long enough to start adding to his lead. I got a pretty good one on. I think I probably need 17 pounds to make it. I'm not gonna feel like I'm for certain going to make it until I have 17. What I've found at this place is, is you can run around and jump spot to spot to spot, but if you believe they're in an area and you stay in that area and just work that area over, you'll catch what you need to catch. More times than not, you got to wait for them to turn on. Net. 
No, 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 don't you do that. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, baby. When you come to Lake Champlain, you gotta keep your head right. If you keep your head right long enough, you catch what you catch. The day is over and the anglers are heading in to Dock Street Landing in the picturesque town of Plattsburgh, New York to find out how they placed. The smallmouth bite is dominant once again and for current leader in the season points, John Cox, the lake has produced. Oh yeah, I think I might be all right. The co-anglers at this event also brought in big bags, but in the end, Chris Hall brought in the heaviest over three days to claim the co-angler crown. Today's weight's gonna be 15 pounds, nine ounces, 15, nine market efficiency. Anthony holds the lead for now, but a 15 pound limit is going to keep him nervous. I hope it holds up and I get a chance to go out there and fish tomorrow. I've had people around me on my primary spot each day and I've been afraid to leave. Under normal circumstances, I would never have stayed on the spot like that had I not been getting bites. So, you know, tomorrow, I, you know, if it's, if it's just as slow as it was today, I'll probably move around three or four times as much as I did. While Gagliardi is working on a game plan for tomorrow, some are just hoping they can sneak in and make the cut. 18 pounds, 15 ounces, goes all the way to the second place with 53.6. What are we doing tomorrow? I'll probably fish with smallmouth early until about 9 o'clock or so, and then I'll go fishing for largemouth. Um, I'll have to look for new areas as I go, but um, man, I hope I fish tomorrow. Jason needs 11 pounds even to make the cut. Do we got that? I think we got 11 pounds. Jason Omer is a rookie on the Eastern Series this year, but the Ranger Pro has had lots of success on this lake in the past by focusing on one area at a time. Jason Omer, your new tournament leader, with 20 pounds, four ounces, 20 pounds, four ounces, 58, 13. I'm going to grind it out, man, one spot all day long. We might go catch a limit first thing in the morning, but after that, we're gonna go grinding. Grinding the grindstone all day long. I know where their great big ones are living. I'm fishing to win, I'm not fishing for second place, so. Shin Fukai started slowly today, but his afternoon bite may have given him enough to hold on to a top five position. Almost $50,000 first place. But I didn't get money, she got money. She gets the money? That's not the way it works. Not good. You must live in the same household I do, Shin. He needs 13 pounds, 10 ounces to move into the top five. Today's weight. 17 pounds, 13 ounces. Mark it puts him in second spot. So we can do Great job, there, sir. Gagliardi falls to third place, a mere one ounce behind Fakai, and Jason overtakes a commanding three pound lead into the final day. There ain't no other place I'd rather be. Go like Champlain. Ha ha. The final day on Champlain, and our top five are on top of their game. Catch five. And then we'll be able to go fish to win this thing. Welcome back to FLW Outdoors. Lake Champlain is the venue for this third stop on the FLW Eastern Series. And while 146 professional bass anglers fished hard the first three days of this event, now we're down to just the final five on this last day of competition. Our leader says he's got the willpower to stay in one area and get five quality bites, while our fifth place angler says he's found a spot where he could win it all. It's time to meet them and the rest of our top five right now. I've only fished about 20 docks here in my lifetime. We're going to fish a bunch of them today, and I'm going to see how much you can catch on. We're going to fish a lot of places I've never even seen before. I was actually reeling it in to make another cast, and I seen him come up behind it good. Skipping docks is what Andy Montgomery likes to do best, but with the variety of cover and structure on Champlain, few would attempt to win on this pattern. This red-hot fisherman from South Carolina is having a breakout season by not following the conventional wisdom. I've been in enough of these and know that when you get close, you gotta go for the win. You gotta catch five before you worry about the cold. You're gonna see the definition of scrambling today. A lot of moving, a lot of new water, Kind of thinking on my feet. One bite. Yamaha Pro Dave Wolak is five pounds behind the leader and needs five big largemouth bass to make up that deficit. So he plans on hitting as many spots as possible to give himself a chance at a come from behind victory. 
I'm gonna fish some history, hit, fish some new stuff, whatever looks good, you know, put a jig in my hand and go fishing. We'll see what happens. I hate that I relinquished my lead. The guy in the lead now, I mean, he can, he can fall through a little bit and, you know, I can catch a big bag like I did the first two days and be right there, you know, at the end, so. It's been said that nobody understands deep water fishing more than Anthony Gagliardi. In 2009, he finished second to Scott Martin right here on Lake Champlain. The 2006 Angler of the Year understands how important it is to finish strong. If you catch 20 pounds right now, any, any one of us in the top five, I think, that you got a legitimate shot, you know, to take this thing, so. I'm worried about this win. Yeah, when I get, get hard win, I, I couldn't stay exactly the same spot. Shin Fukai has a challenging path to victory today. He must fight the strong winds around him and try not to think about Anthony Gagliardi, who's one ounce behind him, or Jason Ober, who's three pounds ahead of him. I chasing them all day today. Then catch big fish. I'd like to be behind by three and a half pounds instead of ahead by three and a half pounds and take the pressure off a little bit. Tournament leader and Ranger Pro Jason Ober has a no-nonsense approach to fishing at Champlain. <laughs> Find your key area and fish it hard all day. He calls his approach the grind. We're going to grind all day and I think that's the biggest deal and the reason that I do as well as I do here. You know, I've just been very fortunate to do well at this lake time and time again is that I grind. Ober's methods have served him well as he has a sizable lead over Gagliardi and Fukai going into the final day. If I could catch a fish off every waypoint I got on there, I'd probably be in good shape. I got nowhere to go but up. There ain't no other place I'd rather be. I feel like Sam playing. Jason Ober hooks up on his second cast of the morning, but perhaps he should have prepared his net before throwing out his jig. My rope's caught in my net. Thank you. Jesus. That's called a bonus fish, baby. We weren't supposed to catch that one. It ain't a great big one, but monkey's off the back early on. As far as catching keepers, though, I've been catching you know, barring, you know, yesterday, because I think yesterday was off, but the first two days I think I was catching upwards of, you know, 15 or more keepers a day. Definitely one to make you feel better about things first thing in the morning. Though. Might be a three pounder. That's a nice, that's a nice mess, but we need to start the morning that way. Nice three pounder. I had about 10 pounds is all I had. And I was fishing out in that mill foil and high drilling. I said, well, I'm gonna go try these docks. So I went over there and caught 19 pounds in 30 minutes. And I know throughout the course of the day, if I just hit one stretch like I hit yesterday, I can catch 20 pounds in 30 minutes. Past two days, I caught nice fish at the morning. But yesterday, I couldn't catch Nice fish, nice fish in the morning. There you go. That's a big one. Take a time, take a time. Oh! Yes, yes, yes. I'm looking for this fish. Like this! Haha! Three pounder. Come here. Just saving face, man. We'll catch five, and then we'll be able to go fish to win this thing. A little more bites like that. Coming up on FLW bite. Outdoors, our anglers start filling up the live wells with big smallies. <laughs> and Shifu Kai gets a little nervous. I got trouble. It's the final day on Lake Champlain for five anglers in search of bass and glory. 
Former Angler of the Year, Shin Fukai, is no stranger to either, and he's on the move. Woo! I got sweat. I need three more. Fukai is fishing in 40 foot of water in an area called the Inland Sea, and the strong winds are creating large waves that are pushing his bait fish off his key spot, a six foot by six foot group of rocks on the bottom. One of the legends with a drop shot, Shin refuses to be pushed away from what he believes to be his best chance at winning. Sitting out here in 18 feet of water right now, and we're casting up into you know 10 or 12 feet of water. So it's not like it's there's just this real a real sharp drop right there. And again, the wind's blowing the bait and stuff over top of it, the bait fish, and uh, all that plankton's coming over top of that big grass flat up there. before you call. So go for them one at a time. Number four. Basically, I'm just uh, I'm fishing as many docks as I can. Um, I've never done it on this lake, so I'm actually practicing while I go. Just looking for shade. Large, large mouth bass love shade. And that's all I'm doing is looking for shade. There he is. There he is, big one. That's what we're fishing shallow for, boys. Four more bites like that. Four more is all we need. The man Andy just passed in the standings, Dave Wolak, is hoping that his knowledge of the lake will yield a quick bite. Well, I'm just going for these bonus fish this morning. It's kind of a community hole, but if I get one or two or three fish, you know, just quick to start the day, that's, that's all I'm looking for. What kind of bait are you I'm just using a little jig. Nah, I gotta get behind it. Don't pay too much time watching the camera. That's the biggest smallmouth I got all week. I've been weighing in all largemouth, so. That's those bonus fish I was talking about, a quality bonus fish that moves in. All right, what a way to start. What a way to start. Mm. 
Finishing deep has been the only focus for Chevy Pro Anthony Gagliardi. And on this final day, he's been expanding out from his main area. I just pulled out here up on the tip of a, it's just the tip of a long reef coming up. And this is the upwind side. And I, I switched to a crankbait that was diving a little bit deeper. I thought it'd be worth a try with the wind blowing in on it. And about second or third cast. She hit it about three times before I hooked her. Hmm. That's a good one there. Let me get the net back here. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Maybe a couple more like that. Hold on, bud. I'm gonna call them four. You know, I've kind of, I've kind of been branded as a deep water structure fisherman, and I'm comfortable with it. Um, you know, and I'm comfortable spending a lot of time in practice doing it. That's probably what separates a lot of the guys that consistently do well deep, and you know, from those that you know sometimes struggles because. If you're gonna catch them deep, you almost have to commit to it. I mean, you gotta spend your entire practice, you know, pretty much looking around because, you know, it's just, it's so hard to find those places where the fish are schooled up on. But when you find them, you know, you got a shot to win. Coming up, Jason Ober hits a dry spell while Andy Montgomery finds big fish shallow and Shin Fukai's drop shot lands in the sweet spot. Stay tuned. Uh, yes. Welcome back to FLW Outdoors as we bring you the sights and sounds of the FLW Eastern Series here on magnificent Lake Champlain. That's getting there. 450 docks later now. I'm about to quit doing that when I get a three pounder. Every professional bass angler is a true conservationist at heart, and the FLW Tour partners with organizations all across the country to help promote healthy and sustainable fisheries for everyone to enjoy. Here at Champlain, that means partnering with the Lake Champlain Research Institute and a tagging program that helps researchers really gain valuable insight into the effects that tournaments have on the bass population. The Research Institute is part of the college that gets involved with uh, aquatic research in the Adirondacks and Lake Champlain and we kind of like to be involved with some real world issues and we can take advantage of uh, the FLW tournaments because bring large numbers of fish to a weigh-in station without us having to do any work quite frankly. This one is smallmouth, length 420, missing uh, lower caudal low. 0 Two, one, one. Each one's individually numbered, so we can record data particular to each fish. That means we can, in general terms, talk about where it was caught, what species, uh, we'll have the size of the fish, and uh, if we recover that tag, we'll also be able to talk about, in general terms, where it was recovered in the lake and when, and that will give us an idea of um, dispersal. We know that tournaments are having very little impact in terms of overall mortality. Uh, so we, you know, we think the tournament industry is, is doing great things and making great use of a renewable resource. But if there's an opportunity to improve something in the, in the system or in the operations, we think this kind of research might give us those, those sorts of answers. Midway through the final day, and we're seeing some big changes to our leaderboard with Gagliardi actually leading Fukai. Meanwhile, for Jason Ober, the lake has gone dry. Definitely a painstaking process. 
I mean, like I say, you come to Lake Champlain, you expect to catch one, you know, pretty often. And to sit out here and do this, to grind it out. <laughs> is it hard? Yeah, this is like watching paint dry. Because I could catch a five pounder right now, or may not catch another one all day. I've caught too many big fish this week to go on a scramble mission and hit the panic button way too early. So, just keep going in circles. I keep telling myself one's gonna bite eventually. Not too far away, Chevy Pro Anthony Gagliardi is gaining more and more confidence in his area. All these baits that I'm fishing on the bottom here, I'm fishing the same way. You know, I'm just trying to drag them slow, you know, working through that grass. And as soon as it pops loose from the grass, you, you know, you, you kill it so it'll it'll sink back down. You don't, I, don't, I haven't really been snatching it out of the grass like we do sometimes. Because um, when, I, when I pull it loose, I want it to sink right back down to the bottom. I'm better not that way. Definitely. It was a real funny bite. I didn't know. I really didn't know if it was a bite or not. And I started just putting some pressure on it and it started moving. Um, just a very subtle bite. Probably one of the most subtle bites that I've had. Definitely not one of those little guys. One thing that I do um, think that it was in common with all those places. There were schools of perch. I mean, there was pretty, you know, pretty large schools of yellow perch there. And wherever I would get into a little area where I would catch perch or get perch bites, then I'd catch bass. Three down, two to go. Like I said. Nothing is going right for Jason Ober today. Over in the Inland Sea, Shin Fukai continues fishing relentlessly in the face of heavy wind and waves. But well, I, I have three small fish, so I need another three big fish. Coming up, Wolak misses a big opportunity. Anthony hooks one deep. And Jason Ober tries to keep his head in the game. FLW Outdoors is brought to you by Chevy. Every model is backed by a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter of hunting, fishing, and outdoor gear. Goodwill, donate to Goodwill for your community and the environment. Visit donate.goodwill.org for a donation center near you. Folgers, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Rapala, your best shot at a world record. And by Evan Rood E-Tech. With three years, no maintenance, spend more time on the water. So my decision has to be fish to win or fish to survive. I, I'm worried about this wind, but I don't need it. this small fish. I need more big of it. You know, everybody catches them pretty good. Got to really, you know, come up with a big bag and make up three pounds. I'm gonna fish some history, hit, fish some new stuff, put a jig in my hand and go fishing and see what happens. You, you don't get many opportunities to win. When you get in a position, you gotta try to do it. 
The final hours are passing by here on Lake Champlain, and time is against Jason Ober as he tries to figure out how his day has gone so wrong. You know, I've searched all day and worked really hard to catch, you know, going after those four or five, six pound bites. Uh, the bad unfortunately came on the last day when it really meant a lot. I'm obviously really upset over that big fish that I lost. You know, <laughs> put yourself in my shoes. I'm trying to come from five pounds behind and that happens. Wolak moves quickly to put that miss behind him. Evanrude Pro Andy Montgomery is still hammering away at the docks searching for a key bite. Oh, that crossed through. Yeah. I thought it would have hurt, but he said, pet, 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 pet. I was left there and left it there and started swimming off. Woo! Had him on that cross rim, got him. One bite away from having a shot. Over, I like you, but I hope you didn't catch it. Out in the deep water, Shin Fukai nice. has been truly magnificent in these blustery conditions and stayed right on top of his spot, some 40 feet below. And I see the fish from the point, uh, they, are cut, they are eating easier. Very easy. So I need to pound the fish fast from depth finder, then throw the drop shot. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, here you, here you. Uh oh. Yes, sir. I got a good job. Finally. Oh, I'm scared. No, 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 no. He's coming, he's coming. Okay, okay, he's coming. Yes, sir! Woo! Yes! Look, he's, he's a baby! Ah! Ah, ha, ha, ha! Never give up. Never give up. I went back to the Carolina rig. Um, I had left the spot for a little while, and I hope maybe that they'd, if they'd get active here, I think that they'll bite this, and I can, I can fish this a little bit faster and cover more water. Don't get me down in the grass now, girl. It's the strongest, the meanest one I've caught today, if nothing else. Definitely the meanest one. Didn't have her in the stomach, had her in the gill. I was actually worried that she was gonna uh, not make it, but I cut it off, cut the hook off. And and I, as soon as I cut my line, I saw her pull. She pulled that jig with that hook down with her, with her crushers, and, and then I put her in there with some rejuvenate and put some ice on her. Um, so far, so far, she's doing fine. She looks just as good as all the rest of them. There. It was one of those days where I, I didn't lose any fish, you know, that I that I saw that were big. So, you know, I feel like I did everything that I could, you know, within my power to to give myself a shot to win. And you know, I, whether it's enough, you know, it remains to be seen. They didn't go that great. Most key spots didn't work today. One broke me off in the nets when I didn't jerk hard enough because I was worried he was going to break me off. So I got lucky for three days. 
Today, my luck ran out. So. Welcome back to FLW Outdoors as we watch our final five anglers come in for the weigh-in at Dock Street Landing in Plattsburgh, New York. The question of who will be crowned champion is up in the air as Jason Over slipped up badly from his three-pound lead to start the day. We need five pounds, eight ounces to take the lead. First up is Andy Montgomery, who had a good day, good catching all five. his keepers next to or directly under the dock. 16 pounds, 11 ounces, puts him at 70 pounds, one ounce, your new tournament leader. We're gonna need 16 pounds, six ounces to take the lead for Andy Montgomery. David Wolak brings in five to the scales, but his big miss earlier in the day keeps him from threatening the lead. Oh. We do have a limit. 12 pounds, 13 ounces, puts him at 66 pounds, nine ounces, moves him to second place. Congratulations. Anthony's had a great week this week. Day one, 19 pounds, 12 ounces. Day two, a better day, 19 pounds, 15 ounces. Gagliardi had a great day four, able to expand on his area and land five big, beautiful smallmouth bass in his quest for victory. What a beautiful smallmouth. We need 14 pounds, 14 ounces for a new tournament leader. Today's weight. 18 pounds, three ounces, puts him at 73.7, your new tournament leader. And with authority, Anthony jumps ahead of Montgomery by three pounds and knocks him off the hot seat. The angler who matched Anthony fish for fish is Shin Fukai, who had a wet, wild day out on the water. Will he have enough to be able to edge out Gagliardi? <laughs> I got a good job. No, 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 no. no. He's coming. Yes, sir. <sighs> yes. We're looking for a five pass limit. He started the day one ounce ahead of Anthony Gagliardi and three and a half pounds behind Jason Ober. And they're getting bigger. We need 18 pounds, three ounces to take the lead. Today's weight. 18 pounds, seven ounces, your new tournament leader, Shiniki Fukai. And with that, Fukai moves past Gagliardi by just five ounces. Now he just has to hope that Ober's struggles throughout the day will seal the deal. Jason Ober started out quickly in the morning, bagging five keepers before 8 a.m., and appeared to be on the verge of blowing this event wide open. But his luck went south, and it was late in the day before he caught another fish. Did he pull it out in the end? $55,000 on the line. Let's see, Jason. He has number one. Shin, they're gonna have to get bigger than that. We have number two. Jason, we're gonna have to start growing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's three, Shin. That's number four. We're looking for a five bass limit. He's going back to the bag. Oh, that looked big, Shin. Wow. That hurt, Shin. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> we need. 15 pounds even. And Jason will take the lead and win. Anything less, Shin wins. Today's win. 11 pounds, 13 ounces, your tournament champion, Shiniki Fukai. What an amazing victory for Shin. He battled the elements to stay on top of his key area and claim his first title in four years. I finished the first day, couple couple spots, then found, found the deep water fish, then I had a confidence for deep water. I had to find the bait fish first. Uh -huh. They love very small area. I, I fish small spot because they are there. Yeah, I feel so good win this tournament. Congratulations to Shin Fukai on his win. Once again, Lake Champlain is the backdrop to another amazing chapter in tournament bass fishing. For more on the water coverage and tips from the pros, visit flwoutdoors.com.